In quick order, the U.S. in strong official language... The CIA now planned to assassinate Castro. The mafia, whose profits from Cuban tourism had been destroyed by the revolution, were approached by CIA agents and asked to help. They were perfectly willing. And at one point, we furnished poison capsules to members, uh, not necessarily of the mafia, but of people who were associated with the mafia. And then the idea was to figure out how to get them from this country to Cuba. And then the major obstacle, once in Cuba, how to introduce them to Castro. But then the CIA discovered someone who already had access to Castro, his former secretary. I lived in the Havana Hilton in one of his six suites, room 2408. And uh, I just uh, became his girlfriend lover during his first tur uh, turbulent year. And uh, I just became a fixture. When their relationship broke up, Marita Lorenz returned to the United States and was contacted by the CIA. They wanted me to go back uh, to kill him. And then they gave me intensive training and capsules to uh, poison him because they said I was the only one that could do it. I was the closest. We were in touch with anybody and everybody particularly if we thought they could have access to Castro. Why did she have the access in the first place? She had been Castro's loved one. This had been dropped, and presumably she was so attractive that she could resume this, offer, this relationship. I uh, went in as a tourist, typical, you know, with a camera, went to the Hotel Colina, changed clothes, had my honorary uniform uh, with me, and just went right into the Hilton, said hello to the people at the desk, and went upstairs and unlocked the door and waited. He walked in and said, where were you, you know? I said, well, I was homesick. I wanted to go back to New York and see my family, which was a lie. Uh, I had really been in the clutches of the CIA and being trained the whole time. He was lying there, fully clothed, with a cigar in his mouth, his eyes closed, and he said, did you come to kill me? And I said, I was stunned. Uh, I, I said, yes. And then he said, without blinking, uh, with his eyes closed, he said, nobody can kill me. And then he reached over uh, where he put his gun belt over the lamp, and he pulled out his forty-five and he handed it to me, and he said, do it. And I was dumbfounded. I just looked at the gun, and I was, so was rusty, and I said, no. You know, I'm not going to do it this way or any way. I, I couldn't take a life. 